Hello friend, uh, today I am going to explain about IFTIR that is uh, Fourier Transform uh, IR Spectroscopy. Uh, first of all, what is FTIR? FTIR is a powerful tool for identifying uh, different types of the chemical bond uh, which are present in the molecules. Okay. FTIR is mostly useful for identifying functional group present in the compound means uh, that we can identify the unknown materials and uh, it can determine the quality and consistency of a sample also and uh, from here we can determine the amount of component in a mixture okay this is the picture of uh, FTIR uh, this is the setup uh, and uh, Uh, in FTIR, we will do this uh, simply the mathematical conversion. Okay, using the mathematical equation, we will simply do the mathematical conversion. And uh, this I will explain later. Okay, source uh, IR source will be there. Okay, and uh, 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 from IR source, uh, light will be uh, go and it will uh, strike to this uh, divider. Okay, and uh, this divider will divide the light in two equal part look uh, uh, in two equal part uh, in uh, two equal part only this divider divide the light okay uh, one will move toward the moving mirror and uh, mm, uh, other uh, light will move toward the stationary uh, mirror okay and uh, after striking this moving mirror and stress stationary meter mirror uh, stationary mirror okay Mm, the, uh, the light will be reflected back okay these red lines are the reflected light okay and this uh, reflected light um, uh, they will uh, uh, form a constructive light interference okay they will combine together and form a constructive light interference okay constructive means this uh, both light okay this uh, their um, intensity will be uh, added and they will form a constructive interference okay and uh, it will pass to the sample okay uh, and uh, if uh, if the, if the, it is not absorbed uh, by the sample, uh, then it will move to the detector and uh, move to the in interferogram. Okay, and if it is absorbed by the sample, then it will undergo the vibration, stretching, or bending. Okay, um, this moving uh, mirror it can be moved. Okay, uh, the distance uh, from this divider uh, uh, to moving mirror and distance uh, from this uh, divider to the stationary mirror is equal. Uh, equal okay. Uh, let us consider um, if the distance is x okay uh, both x x and now if the moving mirror is moved uh, to here okay if the moving is mirrored uh, here then the distance will become x plus 1 okay and here the distance will become x uh, now uh, the light uh, will strike uh, to this x plus 1 okay a moving mirror and uh, here uh, the distance is stationary it, il it is not movable okay in this stationary mirror now uh, the intensity will become the destructive okay yeah, the intensity will become now destructive if the part difference is zero okay or the zero part difference and uh, then uh, constructive interference will form okay if the optical part difference is there if the part difference is moving okay like uh, that if it is moving uh, far or if it is moving near okay the uh, interference will be destructive interference okay mm. Is uh, constructive in this destructive interference commonly give this types of the spectrum. Okay, using this uh, transform uh, Fourier transform equation, uh, we'll convert these uh, types of these uh, graph. Okay, we'll convert these types of graph to, to convert this uh, to the intensity versus frequency. Okay, uh, time domain is converted into the frequency domain um, with using this equation. Okay, uh, and we'll get a normal uh, graph. Okay, uh, intensity versus wave number. Okay, and frequency domain. Uh, like this uh, we will determine um, uh, different types uh, of uh, functional group of a compound okay